Welcome to Lyceum. William Harvey. William Harvey, 1578 to 1657, was an English physician who made groundbreaking contributions to the understanding of human anatomy and physiology. His most famous discovery was the circulation of blood in the body, which he described in his seminal work, De Motu Cordis, On the Motion of the Heart, published in 1628. History. Harvey was born on April 1, 1578, in Folkestone, Kent, England. He studied at the King's School in Canterbury before attending Gonville and Keyes College, Cambridge, and later studying medicine at the University of Padua in Italy. After completing his studies, Harvey returned to England and began practicing medicine. He became a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians in 1607 and was appointed as Lumleian Lecturer at the college in 1615. Invention. Harvey's most significant contribution to science was his discovery of the circulation of blood. He demonstrated that blood circulates continuously around the body, propelled by the pumping action of the heart. Prior to Harvey's work, the prevailing theory, based on the teachings of Galen, held that blood was consumed by the body and then replenished. Harvey conducted numerous experiments, including dissections and vivisections, to observe the movement of blood through the arteries and veins. His meticulous observations and experiments led him to conclude that the heart acted as a muscular pump, pushing blood through the arteries and then returning through the veins to the heart, completing a closed circulatory system. Legacy Harvey's whalebone demonstration rod, tipped with silver, resides in the silver room of the Museum of the Royal College of Physicians. Several medical buildings and institutions are named after or otherwise commemorate Harvey. The Harveyan Society of Edinburgh was founded in 1782 by Dr. Andrew Duncan. William Harvey Research Institute at Barts and the London School of Medicine and Dentistry is a research facility focusing on biochemical pharmacology, orthopedic diseases, endocrinology, genomics, clinical pharmacology and translational medicine and therapeutics. Thanks for watching.